like to start by thanking our volunteer crew and the Shaw staff that makes this program happen every couple of weeks. My guest in the first segment is Georgina Patko, and we're going to be talking about co-housing. So welcome, Georgina. Thank you. And we'll start with what is co-housing and how are you involved with it? Well, it's a, that's a good question. It should be. You gave it to me. <laughs> no, I made this one up by myself. That's true. <laughs> okay. So, well, co-housing often gets confused with co-op housing. And it's, yeah, it's, I, some, yeah, it's something completely different from that. So co-housing is an intentional way of building your future, if you like. So um, in, in my case, I've joined a co-housing development group that are uh, building beautiful uh, apartments in Souk. Um, but there are loads of co-housing uh, communities de being developed all over Canada. All I over haven't the heard a word about it. Well, now you no, have. No, I now you yeah. have. So um, the idea is that it's an intentional community that comes together to buy a piece of land and um, create the home that they want to live in as they age. And so the the development they become the developers, in fact. So they in in our case we have a fabulous project manager who's built several of these, and she's led us into. Um, a way of developing a piece of land which is right on the water in Souk, right on uh, Souk Basin. Uh, we bought some land, we're developing 34 units, and it's the people who have bought this piece of land and the people who are buying those units who decide, make all the decisions about how we build. So we're building green to, to a built green standard, and uh, we you know, we have inside our home exactly what we want for sustainable life as we get older. And instead of feeling like um, we're getting older, we're feeling like we're starting a whole new life. Because getting younger. We're getting younger, exactly. We're taking years off because um, we decide what we want as a group. And it's everything is decided by consensus so that although it takes time and you can imagine if you've got uh, you, sometimes we have 40 people at a meeting and we're trying to decide the color of the kitchen cupboards so imagine that you know when you're at home with your your wife or your partner and you're you're trying to decide on the color of your kitchen cabinets that's pretty difficult it, just with the two of you when you have 40 people in a room and you're trying to make that decision but just to be clear every unit can color their kitchen cupboards the way they want no, 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 they can't. Okay. They can't because if you're a developer, which we are, we're developing our own 34 unit building, you have to, th you have to step back from that and you have to think, well, you know, if this person's having green units and this person's having white units and this is wood and this is black, um, how much is that going to cost? Oh, I see, okay. You, so we have to and be very, I'm, we're managing our own budget. And how is it going with the consensus uh, decision making? It's wonderful. Great. It's something Great. that we've learned. And, and when you come into something like that and you're the age, we, this is not necessarily seniors co-housing. We start at around 55, um, go up, uh, so far up to about 80. But I assume that a group of people in their 20s who want to start having families could do exactly the same exactly. thing. Exactly. And people do all over the world. Um, but Never the idea that. is that when you think, you think you know everything. I do. Yeah, and, and so do I, you know, you just do. But when you get into a group like this, you have to step back and listen carefully. We're learning communication skills, facilitation skills. We facilitate our own meetings. We arrange our own agendas. And we are learning how to um, really hear what people know about things. So I'll give you an example. Um, when I moved into, when I wanted to do this and became involved with the co-housing development I'm in, which is called West Wind Harbor. Now, is it built? It's on the, we're up to the third floor. Okay, so you're it's still, almost you built. moved in yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I got involved with this, I wanted a gas oven, a gas stove, because that's how, you know, I think you know, that's the best thing. And, and I was pretty sure going to this decision-making meeting where you know, I'm going to have a gas stove, and I don't care what anybody's going to say, that's what I want. But when you're in the meeting and you're surrounded by people, if you have 
Uh, if you can listen to what is in front of you, you hear so many opinions, and so there's people there that understand a lot more about the environment than I do, about how gas is extracted than I do, and they bring, bring to the table new information. Talk to, talk to us about induction cooking and how you can cook with electricity, and, so, and, and brought uh, demonstrations of induction cooking. Um, so we listen and we hear what has to be said and then we vote by consensus and if you can live with the decision then it goes ahead. You can always block it because you cannot live with this whatever it might be. But if you can live with a decision then that de is a decision that's made and we don't go back. And if it gets blocked? If it gets blocked we have to, to rethink. Uh, we have to rethink the whole thing. So if somebody is desperate for black cupboard doors and we're not getting them, then we have to go back to the drawing board. Can you just, you mentioned that this is being done all over Canada and all over the world. Can you give me any numbers of like, because um, I'm just, I've really question. not heard about I it. Do, I should know that. I think there's 150 in the States and it started in Denmark. So it's quite small still. Yes. Yeah. It started in Denmark in 1969 and the people who built that first co-housing development um, are still living there. It sounds like a, just a great idea. It's a it wonderful. Like a great idea. It's a wonderful idea. We have, um, it, you know, that there are um, there's several being built and in different stages of completion, and uh, the people are buying are using different methods. So some people would build um, or buy a, a building that is already exists and separate it out so that there's different units. But one of the big things about co-housing is that they all have shared space. So it's a lot more private than you might think because your own unit is your own unit. You can go and hide in there. So it's actually quite a lot of introverts are interested in this because they can live in their own space. But if they want company, there's shared space. And in, in West Wind Harbor, there's a seven, place. Yeah, our place, there's going to be 7,000 square feet of communal space, including guest suites. Um, we've got one suite uh, designated as a caring suite. If, if we get to a point where we need help, um, we have um, a gym, we have a roof garden, we have um, a beautiful uh, kitchen with commercial kitchen. We have our own, uh, the house that was on the site when we bought the, the, the land, we're keeping and that that has all these bedrooms and it has space for a yoga studio and a library and all the things that the people in our community want. We have a dock, um, we have a dirty art room for the people who do pottery and we have a clean art room for the people who do um, fabric design because we know who's there and what they want. Um, and as new people join our group, we make decisions based on their needs, what they bring to the table. So it's, it's always growing and expanding and we learn so much. So unfortunately, we're almost out of time. I think oh, we got we? through question number one. <laughs> but it sounds like a great experience. It's a fabulous experience. It's, I would say it's changed my life because instead of feeling old and sort of, go, you know, I'm just about to retire and, you know, a lot of people when they're retiring thinking about you know, this is going towards the end. I don't feel like that at all. And it's I mean, because of this place. Yeah, I'm growing and learning. Yeah, and, yeah. and I guess everyone else, the other 33 units, people yeah. feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly it. There are eight left. So, um, you know, if people are interested in, in ours or any other, there is a co-housing, Canadian co-housing network on, uh, you can look at, you can Google it. Um, and people will be able to look up for themselves, you know, where they are and uh, the different communities that they could move into. Um, but we're in Souk and there are eight and uh, they're all different sizes and people can come and join us. Yeah. You know, I, I'm shocked that I, I don't think, I've, I've, I mean, I've heard the term maybe somewhere but you just came on the show because somebody told me about you. I'd never really heard much about it, but it sounds like a great idea. It's a lovely yeah, idea. Yeah. It's super. Uh, you should come and visit and then talk about that. Well, you should at least come back on the show a few times so we can get through a few more of these questions. Okay. okay. I'm How happy are we doing to do on time? 
One minute. Let me ask you a very quick one. Um, financial. Mm -hmm. What are some? You've only got a minute, so you can't say much. But financial, good, bad, costs, benefits. Yeah. Well, we are the developer, so each one of the units owns one share in the development company. We're, we're a corporation. Right. When we sell, we'll sell to ourselves and become a strata. So okay. the development company will sell to each individual unit owner. Um, the cost is, um, we do, there's no profit involved. Right. We don't so, make a profit, but so we do make, we, we want stuff. We want a roof garden and yeah. we want triple glazed windows and we want to build green, for example. So it's yeah. not necessarily cheap, right. but it's not expensive either. Right. So from, we've got from 600 square feet to 1050, 400,000 to um, just under 700,000. Okay. And we're going to leave it right there. Okay. Georgina, thank you very much. Sounds You're like a great much. idea. Looking forward to hearing more. Thank you. And thank you all for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. Wow.